Greetings! Today we're going to use Photoshop to create fabric yardage. We're going to have a print in the fabric and then we're going to insert the fabric into an existing custom silhouette. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you can use it in future sketches. Thank you so much and have a great day. We're looking at a new sketch for Selimen. This one has a warmer background. We're looking at a fabric swatch and we're going to be dropping this pattern into the skirt. Say it's a situation where the director is asking you for a different version of the costume. How do we do that? I'm going to the Selimen costume. Here I've highlighted the skirt. We have the blue skirt that I've been using. But I'm going to be using a pattern and I don't want to lose the blue skirt because I may have to go back to that sketch. So I'm going to duplicate it. My first duplicate layer I'm going to call a skirt pattern. And I'm going to save that. And I'm going to duplicate that again. And this one I'm going to call the cropped fabric skirt. You can call it the cut skirt or something like that. And we're going to find out in a few minutes why. So now I have three layers that I'm going to be working with. I have the real blue skirt, which now I'm going to hide by closing the eye. And now I have two skirt layers that I'm going to be working with. The first is the skirt pattern. To work with that, what I want to do is I'm going to use the brush tool set to white, pure white, 100% normal, and a pretty good size, and make sure that this curve pattern layer is the one that is highlighted. I'm just basically going to paint some shape that is about the size of the fabric. Okay. You can just also use the, you could use the marquee tool and create a periphery like this, for example. Okay, and then you can go back to your brush and paint between that. See what I'm doing? Okay. So now I have this whole white tool. What will happen is if I hide the other layers, I have the boots and I have all the layers above that, the contour, the makeup, everything else. If I had all the layers on top of that, you only see this new layer called the skirt pattern. Okay. So I just created a whole section that's going to become my fabric yardage. See that? I'm going to keep the marquee tool there because I need it to become my um, barriers. Okay? This is the first thing I'm going to be working with. When I went to the store and I took this picture, uh, and then I saved it, I need to double check the size. You usually want to be in the 4x4 four four range to drop the pattern into a sketch that's 11 by 17 that's just the norm to keep things simple. You can go under edit or under image and look for the choice that says resize. I'm going to do it, doing resize image size. Okay and uh, I'm going to go ahead and make it the width 4 inches and it will correct itself 4 by 3. Resolution is 75 which is good for a pattern. You could go up to 100 and I'm going to say OK. All right. Next step is I need to say define pattern. Okay. And this pattern is called Japanese print. I'm going to say OK. And now when I go to my paint bucket and I click on the pattern, this pattern should be there. There it is, right there. Japanese print, the last one that I have. So I'm going to click on that one, which is the one appearing in my little window there. It's 100% opacity. Okay normal which is what I want and now I'm gonna dump it in this Y jar that I created great so that's the size now you can see in here that this pattern has a special effect from the skirt because I duplicated that so I can double click on that effect and I can actually um, get rid of it so I don't want any bevel or anything okay I said okay so it's just fabric yardage. And the size seems about right. Um, if I now open the skirt on top of it, that's my skirt, I can tell that the flower sizes are about three fingers. So that's about what I wanted to do. I'm going to go a little bigger here. So you can see it. 
okay? But now I'm working with this particular cropped fabric skirt layer. What I want to do with that layer is simple. I want to um, get rid of the blue. So I'm going to use the magic wand, click on the skirt, do delete, okay? And now you can see what's under. Cool? Uh, in addition, what I'm also going to do is um, I want to get rid of some of this fabric. So I'm going to go back to the skirt pattern. And I'm going to make this smaller. All right. See if I can do that. I probably shouldn't do that. Uh, I'm just going to reshape it. Because what I want to do is I'm give this fabric the movement of the angle of the skirt. So we know that it's sort of shaped as an A. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to say um, edit or image free transform. In this case, actually, I want to do perspective. All right. Okay. Now it's going to my skirt because I have the um, magic wand still, so I need to do the marquee tool, get out of the magic wand, go back to my skirt pattern, and then do image transform perspective. Um, some of you may have that choice under edit, and then I simply have to give it a perspective. See that? So now it's beginning to kind of like it's gathered, it's like an A shape. All right, and I'm going to say OK. Great. And then in addition, what I also want to do is I'm going to try with image transform and uh, skew. Let's see if I can do something else with it. You can change the angle, right? Because we know that it has all this movement. So I'm going to make one side longer so it goes with the line of the skirt here and the other side narrower. I'm going to say OK. So that's saying yes now. Great. Now I'm going to go back to the crop fabric, use my magic wand. I'm going to highlight the skirt, see that? And now I'm going to use the um, white tool, the the paintbrush in white, to paint around it. Oh, it's deleting that. That's not what I want. I had to do select inverse. Okay, so now I can paint outside of the skirt. See that? So I'm only painting the skirt, and I'm going to get rid of the, re the, the rest of this, um, just erasing anything else that is not that fabric. All right. So we have my new skirt pattern. You see it has some movement with it? And I'm going to say now, so that's done. So I'm going to click on my bevel, say yes, click it. Um, I'm going to need to get rid of these um, two layers that are working together. I need to make them into one to get rid of the white and the pattern underneath. So I'm going to say um, merge down. And hopefully only the two layers will merge. And there you have it. Those two layers have merged. Okay. Why did I do that? Well, because now I can use my magic wand and click on the white. And I can press delete and the white is gone. And all I have is my wonderful pattern. I'm going to click on the marquee tool and say yes. Now I'm going to go and uh, add all my other layers that I have made invisible. Okay, so now we have my skirt. I, we have everything else. We have the um, contour and everything. The only thing we don't see is the blue skirt because I'm not using it over here. And then for the effect, I'm going to open that. And we did one the bevel. So there we go. And then you can adjust the angle. Okay, that's kind of cool and interesting. 
great. Maybe I'm gonna make it softer. And um, I'm gonna say okay. And you can go in there with a. Uh, you can use the the um, this tool, okay, and pick on the bevel color, which is sort of like a brown. There we go. I'm gonna use the brush. I'm gonna go a smaller size. That's a good size. I'm gonna say that I want it to be burned. And I'm gonna say that I want it to be very light. Because I'm just basically adding some movement, right? In some of the existing areas. Okay. I'm blending with some of the beveling that we have from before. Okay, and I can also then go a lighter color and add my little, and add my touch. So I'm gonna go to color touch. Okay, and now I'm just gonna use some of the color touch to soften the bevel effect. You can also go back to the bevel and make it smaller if you want it. smaller there we go all right so I just got a skirt pattern with a little bit of movement in it and size to follow the perspective of the skirt and this is how you can drop this type of pattern into a pre-existing garment thank you so much